All right, here we go. Today we're going to be talking about the salaries of the Batman TV series, season one and season three when they got their raise. At the end, I'll link my video of how much Don Wells got paid to play Marianne on Gilligan's Island along with some of the other cast members. That way you can compare the two. One thing to keep in mind about season one is that every episode was a two-parter. So that meant if you played on the first episode, you were playing in the second one too. They aired them early in the week and it said to be continued and then the second half would be later in the week. So if you were a guest villain, you were playing twice minimum. So the salaries you're about to hear are what they were paid per half hour episode. We're gonna start with Stafford Rep, who played Chief Miles O'Hare. Not the biggest part, but he was in a lot of episodes and he was paid $450 per episode. Next, we have Neil Hamilton, who played Commissioner Gordon, which I think is a bigger part than Chief Miles O'Hare, but he also was paid $450 per episode. Now, being paid $450 in 1966 is like being paid $3,600 in 2021. Next up, we have Madge Blake, who played Harriet Cooper, Dick Grayson's aunt. She was paid $500 per episode, so more than the previous two and more than the previous two guys and you got to remember the times right so that was pretty fair i believe and 500 dollars back then is like 4,000 now next up we have alan napier who plays alfred which is a significant role in the show and he was paid 500 dollars per episode which is the same as madge blake but like i said i feel alfred is very key to the overall batman show but hey 500 bucks Okay, that brings us to the guest villain. Now, these are not the henchmen or background characters that you see. Those people were paid union wages of the time, whatever that was, but I'm sure it was way less than the lowest salary you've heard so far. The villains are people like the Joker, played by Cesar Romero, Catwoman, played by Julie Newmar, the Penguin, played by Burgess Meredith, and the Riddler, played by Frank Gorshin. Every one of them received the exact same pay, which was $1,250 per half hour show. But remember, the first season, every episode was a two-parter. So if you were going to be the Joker or Catwoman in an episode, it was really going to be for two episodes. So you would have done $2,500 worth of work when you came in. $1,250 in 1966 would have been like getting paid $10,300 in 2021. So what do you think about that? $1,250 is a lot more than the $450 or $500 some of the regulars were being paid. The price that they were paying was so that they could bring in quality actors, all of which whom I just named were definitely that. Everybody had big careers before and they were sort of a draw to the show, maybe for the older crowd, not so much as the kids, but the parents are watching it and going, oh wow, I love Burgess Meredith. The next one is the real shocker. Burt Ward, who plays Robin, was paid, oh man, $350 per episode, the lowest of anybody. Isn't that kind of shocking when you first hear that? I mean, Robin is a main character on the show, and to be paid less than anybody else, it's kind of hard to believe until they give their reasons. He was 19 years old at the time and never had any experience. This was his first job, and he got the part. He got paid the least. Now that brings us to the main man, Batman, played by Adam West. He was paid $2,000 per episode and he was in every episode. That's like being paid $16,000 in 2021. So if you thought there was a shocker in the season one pay, well, there's another one in season three. That's when everybody got a raise and they even brought in Batgirl as a character. All right, going in the same order as before. Stafford Rep playing Chief Miles O'Hare. He went from $450 to $750 per episode, which is a 66% increase in his pay. Neil Hamilton, who played Commissioner Gordon, went from $450 to $750. So those two stayed the same, neck and neck, like they were before. But they both got a pretty decent size raise. Next, we have Madge Blake, who played Harriet Cooper. Unfortunately, she fell ill before season three started. Eventually, she started to feel better and asked if she could come back to the show. They put her in a couple episodes, but then she fell ill again and never came back. She was paid $500 per episode for the ones that she did appear in, which meant that she didn't get a raise. 
Next up, we have Alan Napier, who plays Alfred. Last time, he was paid $500 per episode. This time, he got $650 per episode, which is an increase of 30%. Now remember, Chief Miles O'Hare, Commissioner Gordon, went from $450 to $750. He went from $500 to $650. So now, he's below them. And that brings us to Burt Ward, who played Robin. Remember, he got paid the least of anybody because he was young and inexperienced. He got paid $350 before, and now he went to $450, which is a 28% increase and still keeps him the least paid character on the show. Yeah, I don't know about that one, man. I feel like if I was Burt Ward, I may have thrown a fit and said, do you really want to find a new Robin for season three? How's that going to look on the show? Come on, 450. People were getting paid 500 bucks on the first season. Throw me a bone here. All right, that brings us to the new character on the show, Batgirl, played by Yvonne Craig. Now, Yvonne had been a famous ballet dancer before this, then she went on to star in 12 feature films. But when she landed the role of Batgirl, she came in with a starting salary of $1,500 per episode which is equal to getting paid $11,700 in 2021. And that leaves us with Adam West playing Batman. He went from $2,000 per episode to $2,250 per episode, which was only 12.5% increase. To me, that's kind of shocking, although he still is the highest paid cast member. Now, if you made it this far in the video, please leave a comment down below and let me know what your takeaway thoughts are on all of this. Personally, I feel like Burt Ward got a raw deal. The character of Robin is very important to the show and was kind of a main character. And to be still undervalued by the third season, I just don't think that was fair. Now, one thing that I noticed that I thought was a positive was that the women were all fairly paid compared to their male counterparts. I mean, Madge Blake was only paid $500 per episode, but that was more than Burt Ward, Neil Hamilton, Stafford Rep. So that was fair. And then all the actresses that played uh, Catwoman, they were paid exactly what the male counterparts would be to play Joker or the Riddler. And of course, Yvonne Craig was very fairly paid to play Batgirl. And the reason I bring that up is because at the time, in the 1960s, a lot of women were underpaid in Hollywood, which obviously wasn't the case here, and that's a good thing. If you enjoyed this video, I really think you'll enjoy the Don Wells salary video, how much Marianne was paid on Gilligan's Island. Go ahead and click that video right above right now. And if you want to, go ahead and subscribe. It's not like you have to watch everything I put out. Maybe just a few here and there. Cool classics.